hundreds of people have come forward to claim they bought a winning national lottery ticket, worth £33 million, which is yet to be identified. According to organisers Camelot, those coming forward said their ticket was lost, damaged or stolen. It comes after a woman said she washed her winning ticket in a pair of jeans. Camelot has confirmed the winning ticket was bought in Worcester, but says it will not comment on unverified claims while it investigates. The prize money up for grabs is half of the record £66 million lotto jackpot. The rest of the money went to a couple from Hoyk who claimed their prize within days of the 9th of January draw. Commenting on the claims of lost, stolen and damaged tickets, a Camelot spokesman said, Given the interest in the missing £33 million ticket holder, we have received hundreds of claims of this nature. All of these are currently being considered on a case-by-case -case basis, and we will follow up with all claimants directly to advise them whether their claim will be investigated further. The spokesman also said details of the shop which sold the winning ticket had not been released, nor had any retailer been informed that they sold the ticket. The operator had the discretion to pay prizes in respect of stolen, lost or destroyed tickets only if the player had submitted a claim in writing within 30 days of the relevant draw, a spokesman said. If the player could provide sufficient evidence, Camelot would investigate and determine at its discretion whether the claim is valid and is able to pay the prize 180 days after the draw. According to shopkeeper Nata Patel, who runs Ambleside News in Warnden, Worcester, a woman went to his newsagents with a ticket bearing the winning numbers, but the date and barcode were illegible. The ticket had the winning numbers 26, 27, 46, 47, 52 and 58. Even though the prize total was shared, the sum is still the biggest win since the National Lottery was launched in November 1994.